but this place is called Kenan Patterson, Club Center. It started in 1973. It has got about 50 membership. Members here. Everyone does his own way. And the, pro the problem we are facing now is marketing. Since there are no enough tourists here in Zimbabwe. That is the main challenge we are facing. So I understand Kenan Patterson was one of the most uh, profound promoters of visual art in Zimbabwe. He told a lot of artists. Yeah. Did you pass through his hands? No. Um, the, the third generation, but the fifth generation passed through his hands. He had the sons of the former student of Kenan Patterson. Was, it was the, it was the, 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 the our elders are the ones who passed through Kenan Patterson. So he didn't have time to pass through him because he died in 1972. We were still kids. And when did you start? Uh, are you a sculptor? What, what kind of art do you do? Uh, sculpting. I do sculpture, but I do I specialize in abstract, abstract art. Did you go through any formal art education? No, I just I was just taught by my my father. And it's in, in the family. It runs through the family blood. What's your father's name? Uh, Silas Silas Manuel. And um, have you ever had your work exhibited outside of the country? Yeah. Some have been those some we have got some uh, some buyers who come from all over the world, some from America, those with some Netherlands, but only this time there are no buyers because marketing is our problem. But they come here and there, not all over the time. So say you had an opportunity to meet up with the Minister of Art. I mean, uh, what would you tell them in terms of uh, visual art industry sculpture? I will tell them that uh, there are a lot of talented visual artists in Zimbabwe, but they are lacking exposure. We need to export our art. It's being wanted out there, all, all over the world. And, uh, Zimbabwean artists is being known as one of the best in the world. So artists need to be exposed all over the world and promote art to bring foreign currents in the country. And uh, probably something that you just want to say that you feel that you would want to say. I understand you're the chairman of uh, Kenan Ah, uh, No, I'm not yeah. the chairman. Yeah. I'm the senator. Uh, so is it an art collective? What exactly? Uh, how, how, how do you guys do what you do? Uh, we, we are a cooperative. Everyone does his own work. But after the sales, we everyone has to pay 10% of commission to the, to the cooperative. So that money will be generated by raw materials and maintain this place, pay the bills and everything. Uh, one interesting thing, we're in Bari right now. Yeah, we are in Bari, yeah. in the middle of Bari. Yes. yes. Uh, what can you say about Bari? The Zim Danso yeah. and uh, visual art. Yeah, Zim, Zim Danso is the, the talk of the town here in Bari. All the ghetto youths are interested in Zim Danso. But also visual art. We are pushing, we are pushing, we are, I hope very soon we'll be right there. Uh, the first generation artists managed to buy farms, send their children to expensive schools. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. What's the state of the visual art at this point in time? As I was told, the state of visual art now is the exposure and the marketing. During those days, we used to receive lots of artists and also Art was being promoted, like the exhibitions, the Zim trade was was still functioning and art was being promoted. Now, right now, we are not getting anything in from the Ministry of Arts and Culture. They, but I think what they have to do, the Ministry of Arts and Culture, they have to go out there and look to where the artists and locate where the artists where are there. And also bring, start to promote them from the ground, to uplift them so that they will exposure their work and export all over the world. That's what I think they have to do. They have to look for the artists. Not where the artists come. They have to look for the artists where are they so that we, we talk to him our grievances. I think that's the way forward.